try this? Yeah. Okay, motherhood isn't always picture perfect, and we are three moms, today four, just trying to figure it out together. Let's get real. Welcome to the Think Loud Crew podcast. Can you tell the difference between when Man. Kyle did the Shut intro up, and Shut up, Cheyenne. Shit? That's I so can definitely tell the difference. Rude. But I appreciate them both. Thank you. <laughs> I guess you know what? someone's so gonna come in and say, "There goes Cheyenne being a bitch again." So oh, who's the asshole now? <laughs> who's the asshole in that? So, <laughs> so, you, speaking of who's the asshole, we're gonna play a game today called "Who's the Asshole." asshole. Yeah, and who's the asshole just now? Cheyenne and Haley's here. She's back again. Oh, today. Yeah, this you said Haley's I was like, "What did no. you do?" No, I think she's back. Somebody I'm commented back. one time when we did. Can I? I'm just gonna say it. Double episodes uh-huh. they're like why are they wearing the same thing because we did it back to back <laughs> I know. but i was just cracking up at that they're like damn they wore I'm the like, same outfit monday they're to like, monday monday they're to like, monday they're they're like, like, monday. Yeah, I'm confused they're I'm still like, in town <laughs> she, <laughs> back to Paris? Yeah. she didn't even change her clothes all, all that french shit all the european exactly. swag and she didn't even change what her clothes what is she talking about <laughs> Fashion wear. <laughs> oh my god, I'm done. No, guys, so we are filming back to back because we have our Think Loud Crew Women's Retreat coming up. So we had to make film sure. to make sure that we had an episode for the the yes. week that we're missing. So that's why dun, dun, dun. we're not dirty girls. Okay. We're not dirty. Well, All right. Maybe we are. Your favorite person <laughs> is going to lead us in a game called Who's the Asshole. Is that me? That's, That's you. you. Oh, okay, okay. That's <laughs> Trap your favorite. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. 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 Trap Daddy. Trap yes. Daddy is going to lead us in the game. So there's a social media and podcast trend called Am I the Asshole? And people oh. basically will call in or, you know, on post on social media saying like, this scenario happened. Am I the asshole in the scenario? Yes. We're going to we're gonna <laughs> have a spinoff of that game called Who's the Asshole? Where these are fake scenarios with fake people but they're controversial, subjective on who's the asshole. So you guys can decide and discuss amongst each other. Okay. This is Got intense. I hope there's a moment where we're all split. I feel like I'm on a show. I, know, yeah. I was just thinking about that. Right. I'm so excited for the first one. <laughs> the comments are going to be like, you guys are all assholes. Oh. Actually. <laughs> like, wild. All right, let's, let's do it. Okay, here's the first one. It's Dave and Pat's anniversary. Okay. And Pat cooks a romantic dinner. Pat knows that Dave hates mushrooms, but he insists that this mushroom chicken dinner will be delicious. Dave refuses to eat it and says Pat should have made something else. Who's the asshole? Pat. 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 Because Pat was the both fuck assholes. Are you, like, sorry. No, my, like, no, Pat's the asshole. If it's our anniversary and you know I don't like, like some shit. Oh, that's what I mean, like, why oh, would I you he's make some shit that I yeah. don't like? And then tell me yeah. I should eat it. And yeah, then be never. mad at me no, never, when no, I don't eat it. Never. You should know me. Do you know me? Do, Wait, do, do you know me? Do you know are me? we strangers? <laughs> Guess, yeah. Yeah. Strangers yeah. by nature. No. <laughs> because, yeah, why? Maybe why if it was that? a regular day for dinner and I wanted you to experience something new and to broaden <laughs> your horizons. I feel like it's not just something you know, And yeah. also not something you know I don't like. Right. Like, you don't give me, like, a hyphenated mushroom. You <laughs> know what I mean? Like, you don't. <laughs> Wait, you, you might as well break up with right? me. <laughs> Like why I'm are you mad that me I just immediately said they're both assholes. Yeah, what? <laughs> like, what? That is not the game. I messed up first round. You said they're both assholes. Yeah. yeah no, <laughs> no. 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 He was the asshole. You don't, don't was, make me something I don't I like. I have had exactly. somebody eat it. That's yeah, rude. Exactly. Been known for years. That's rude. I broke up with a whole person because oh, asparagus. they put asparagus <laughs> on my plate and then got mad at me when I didn't want to eat it and tried yeah. to tell me I was ungrateful. I don't fucking like asparagus. Yeah. We don't give me experience. We need a whole relationship. Yes. Because of no, but that. for me, it's the audacity. How is it, it our is. anniversary? You know I don't like something. You serve it on a plate and expect me to eat it. That's yeah. just rude. I'm gonna say that He's was not asshole. romantic. What are you talking about? Both no, are no, assholes. No. I thought he asked the other person's name, so that's why my my brain said they're both assholes. Oh. Maybe if he didn't know, but he it said it. No, knew it was a mushroom. Yeah. He knew I gotta it was listen better. Yeah, no. I'm just okay. so. <laughs> That was, the that was crazy. Yeah, that, the audacity for me. Okay, what? unanimous vote. Pat's the asshole. Pat, Pat is the asshole. the asshole. Fuck off, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Make me something else. Right. This is okay. not romantic. Or take them out. Frankie's BF. I don't. I guess that means best friend, but I don't know. Or boyfriend. Or boyfriend. We'll find out. We'll find Frankie's out. BF Jonah is really into gaming. When he buys the new Animal Crossing, Frankie says she'd love to play with him, 
so they can spend time together. Jonas says no, she'll mess up his island. Frankie is offended. <laughs> Who's the asshole? I'm sorry, I was just laughing. <laughs> can you read that one more time? <laughs> Baby's <laughs> laughing because he said no, she'll mess up my island. <laughs> I need it one more time. You know, sure, I'm a sure, little sure. slow. Okay, so I think BF in this instance boyfriend. is boyfriend. Okay. okay. So Frankie's boyfriend Jonah is really into gaming. When he buys the new Animal Crossing, Frankie says she'd love to play with him so they could spend time together. Okay. Jonah says no, she'll mess up his island. Frankie is offended. Who's the asshole? The boyfriend. Like, I don't know. No. She wants, like, is that his thing? But she's not. Yeah. A, she wants to spend some time she with him. Spend time with him. I mean, like, spend time with him at another, another time. time. Mutual don't try to. Mutual yeah. territory. Don't try not to. In my, like, if Zach is playing Call of Duty, I'm not gonna be like, give me the other controller. I want to spend time, time with, with you. you. Let me shoot people with you. Like, no. Y'all, I just looked up Animal Crossing. That's why I think I'm giggling. <laughs> what is it? Because it's we'd have bigger issues. <laughs> <laughs> Or no, it's it? so crazy. Okay, I'm gonna sound like an asshole right now, purely. But I just worked anime convention, and our stepbrother was this character in Animal Crossing, and he showed this to me. <laughs> and I had never seen this character before, <laughs> and now Maybe I'm gonna it's say, an adult game, and we just don't know. You're the guy from Animal Crossing. Crossing. Maybe it's an adult game and we just and don't we know. Just don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. I think the boyfriend would be an asshole if the girlfriend had bought the game for him. But since he bought his game and like this He's seems like, to be like his, his yeah. thing, like I don't think anyone's an asshole in this moment. I just think like she should leave him alone. Yeah, yeah. I feel like let him do his thing. My thing is telling me she doesn't really like video games. So why do you want to do that anyway? Do something you both like. Yeah, yeah. that seems like it'd right. be more productive. To spend more time with. Yeah, if you're I'm looking for quality time. That game looks weird. I just, I'm not playing that I just game. learned so much right now. I'm so happy I looked this game up. Okay, I'm on the outside here. I'm I'm the outsider because I feel like the boyfriend is the asshole in this scenario. I, I think Why? So. Really? Why? Think- well, I think, be- okay, here, he, asshole may be a little strong because they could find another way to spend quality time yes. together that mm-hmm. they both enjoy. Yes. But he didn't tell her that in this scenario. He didn't say, mm. I would love to spend quality time with you. What if we did this instead? We both just, like this. He just says, no. You're going to mess up my game. <laughs> You're going to mess up my island. My island. That was his reasoning. Not is just my game. She's going to mess up his game? That's... That May- is maybe it's because I'm not a gamer, but I think that's yeah. Asshole but move. then also, it's also telling me that she's not a gamer because if she's right. gonna mess up the game, you're not a gamer. <laughs> you're not a gamer. Not go, like, go but sit, what's more but important to him his his relationship with his girlfriend or his Animal game? Crossing. Why do you have to choose? I think, I think Animal why can't Crossing. You both the real gamer, the game. He definitely, <laughs> at this moment, it's the game. He definitely not her. chose Animal yeah. Crossing. Well, I feel like you don't have to choose. Like you can you can love your girlfriend yeah. and also love your hobby. Just you can also play for like ten minutes. Let her get her little thrill and they'd be like okay babe that's good but like, not if it messes with no. your island <laughs> that's what I'm saying 10 minutes <laughs> but no, that, minutes. Whole ten, ten that whole 10 minutes can ruin can the game ruin and then you're only spending 10 minutes of quality time that's like you're you know losing yeah. you're, it's two L's how double old, L's how old are they <laughs> we did not get that far into the context. We also don't know. Oh, if, yeah, this looks like a childish game. I, I actually liked that one. I feel like people yeah. are going to have different opinions on that That's one. A... The same way that I honestly feel like we should do the first one of the airplane because people okay. are going to have different, different opinions, opinions yeah. about the airplane one. Hmm. Okay, you want to do the airplane one? Yeah. Okay, here's, here's the one that we were discussing um, before the show. And yeah, I think people have different opinions on this as well. Yeah. Okay, so Mike downloads an episode of Game of Thrones to his laptop <laughs> to watch on a plane ride. The woman behind him, Holly, asks him to turn it off because her small child can see. Mike says no. Who's the asshole? You know what? Listening to that again, I feel like I can see both sides. One, why are you being nosy? <laughs> and looking at my shit. But two, Mike's an asshole because Game of Thrones is very, like, a, There's lot. a lot. There's a lot going yeah. on. The, I can understand my kid. I wouldn't want my kid to watch the Mm-mm. Game of Thrones and peep little things like, oh, mommy, what's that? Yeah, like, yeah. There's a lot And happening. kids are very nosy. So, like, yes, on an airplane, it's very compact. Yeah. 
So, Mike, maybe watch something different. I feel like Mike's the asshole. First of all, you're downloading. Like, it's a public space. <laughs> right. <laughs> One. Like, everyone has their... Sc- I'm thinking... In- yeah, international. It's, it's an international s- flight. It's a lot. You have your, sc- <laughs> <Right. laughs> your screen. Like, why don't you put on the screen something that's for the public? Everyone right. can choose a movie if you're Because sometimes a- I even get weird when I'm on a flight and I'm watching maybe, like, a sex scene. I'm like... Oh. You're like... Oh. You're like Come <laughs> right I definitely am looking at other people's screens like... Wait, Wait, you watch it. Wait, yo, you watch this yes. on airplanes? And that is so true because you do peep and look yeah. at the crack. You do. Like, yeah. oh, oh, this is what you find acceptable, appropriate. Right. appropriate. I think that people are going to have different opinions because someone could easily say that Mike is the asshole. That's the easy yes. answer, yeah. right? But the other side of it is Mike has no obligation yes. about who sits who's behind, behind him. him. Yeah. But you are in a public area. If you want to watch what you want to watch, take your private jet. Ooh. But if you're in a public area, then why can't I watch Game of Thrones? Because it's public space. But you there's to... other R-rated things that they put that on, on the, the, plane. the screen. Wait, but that that's okay. The plane the plane picks your public what Because I, I did a are. flight, I feel like, not too long ago, that, and I was watching a yes. show, and they were fucking, and I was like, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I started to turn the brightness <laughs> down. I was like, who can see this? Yeah. I think they could have both asked each other a little, or responded Nicer. to each other in a different way. I think Holly like, could have said, hey, Mike, my, my very active if child is looking at your screen I'm gonna try and put them down to sleep or yeah, distract them until that is done do you mind yeah. like maybe watching something else so, everybody so who's the polite? asshole who's the asshole everybody vote Mike. Mike yeah I think Mike's an asshole I think Mike doesn't have children like I think I'm going with Holly <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going with Holly I think I'm changing my answer until you have Ace like mom what's that Why yeah. not? I really <laughs> like Game of Thrones so yeah, I think but I you might be a Game of Thrones so person gonna, but wait okay so you like Game of Thrones I would do you, would you have it on if a person asked you, would you be an asshole? I'm like, nah. No, Cheyenne's no, would you watching, watching it. it. I'm Cheyenne's watching, watching it. it. Are you playing I'm it? I'm saying if you're on a plane. If what, you're on a plane, you would, you would say, it. no, I'm not turning it off. That's what you're telling us. If you're a mom. Cheyenne would go like this. As you being, <laughs> as you being a mom, would you... She would me being, her phone. Okay, me being a mom. And, and, if, like, Excuse me. and if I'm Excuse Mike. Me, ma'am. First off, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch don't me. Touch so automatically, now I'm, now I'm really <laughs> watching Game of Thrones. I'm turning the brightness up. Asshole. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If I was Mike, it's no like, offense. Ma'am, excuse me. Lady, how about Holly? You switch seats with you your kid. You put something on your kid's so screen they can be so they active. can mind their fucking business. I'm watching Game of Thrones. Does it matter how Holly asks the question? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It does. And don't it, touch. Approach. Yeah, and don't, don't touch. touch. <laughs> Number one, don't touch, don't okay? Touch. But I still feel like I'm really trying to put myself in Mike's position. Cheyenne will look at that person and say, I'm watching Game of Thrones. Excuse me. Like, Turn your kid the other way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you didn't bring any toys or coloring yeah. paper? Have them <laughs> like, sit in the seat like they just got a BBL. You know how the girls from, when you get a BBL, they sit on their knees no. on, the, on the seat? You, know, you guys haven't seen any of those videos? No. With everybody coming back from, like, Columbia, the girls literally sit on their knees. It's like this. In the flight? In, in the, the flight. flight. Okay, the let flight me broaden this. literally oh. like this. You're showing, okay. They sit like said, oh, okay. What about like takeoff? I don't know, but in the video, I don't know. <laughs> it's literally on TikTok, the girls sit like this. Ow. You're in the flight because yeah, they sounds... can't sit on their butts. I would tell Holly to BBL it with her kid. With her kid. This is a lot. Face him the other way. I guess I'm the asshole. Okay, let me broaden this question a little bit because all of you have kids. Are you ever in a scenario in public where you feel like, somebody's doing something that you wish your kids didn't see or hear and you feel like that person is being inconsiderate or rude it's mm. it's like when people like when we're breastfeeding i know mm. people used to stop what? me and be like can you put your tit away you know and it'd be like fuck off i'm feeding my kid you know and they'd be like well my child doesn't need to see this mm. so i <sighs> It's interesting because for me, it's more cultural. Like, for example, here, there are places where you just can't smoke. You know what mm-hmm, I mean? At the mm-hmm. restaurant, even on the terrace. Over there, they have like five cigarettes in their mouth, like on the terrace. It doesn't matter. Five cigarettes in their you mouth. can be at the park. You can be at the park and someone's and just, like smoking a cigarette oh, yeah. at the park. So for me, like in my culture, I find I find that rude when you're right. in a children's like, setting. Yeah, yes. You know what I mean? And it's like, can you not do can that in this area? That. But it's so integrating the culture, so that's just me. You know what mm, I mean? Interesting. But, but so that you makes can't sense. Really go up no, to that you can't, person. No, you like, don't say anything. Me. That's the culture. You know, right. it's like 
Yeah. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you stop yeah, can doing you stop smoking I'm trying outside? to think, is there a situation where I've been like, look away? Or like, excuse well, me. Well, okay, imagine a couple is in a fight and the man is yelling profanely at the woman. Do you feel like that's inconsiderate to the public or especially to your children? I think it's inconsiderate to, to anybody. To the woman. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. be like, why are you woman at first, her? But, yeah. but then, yeah, to the public. But I think my concern would be more so to of, the like, woman. the woman. Yeah, definitely. But I, I do think that as parents, you do get put in situations where your kids like, see too much, hear mm-hmm. too much, and it's then you, you just, you can't mm-hmm. do anything about it, but you can handle the conversation after. Mm-hmm. Of, like, this is what you yeah. just saw. How is did you feel? Yeah. Let's talk about it. You know, what but, did you see? Right. Or how did it make you feel? Yeah, you I've definitely had moments of like just cover a rider's eyes. Oh my God, don't look don't look away. I'm looking away too, but <laughs> abort, abort. All right, here's the next one. <laughs> Phil and Linda go to a holiday party. <clears throat> Phil eats meat but doesn't like any of the dishes except for the vegetarian one. Linda thinks Phil should save that food for vegetarian guests like her. Phil says that's dumb. There's plenty. Thank Who's you. the asshole? Fucking Linda, Linda sounds like a turd, yeah. okay? It sounds like a party. So you right. listen, Linda. You don't Linda, 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 Linda. Just because I happen to eat meat, I'm not supposed to eat the actual right. dish, other yeah. food or sides. Like, that would be like going to a restaurant and saying, you eat meat, so only order meat, order dish. meat dish. No. Yeah, Linda can go to Linda. another holiday party with her vegetarian <laughs> Linda dish. Linda sounds like a prude. <laughs> Linda is what the young kids would call a Karen. <laughs> I don't know who taught that to Ryder, but the other day she did something and then someone did something and she said Karen. And I was like, oh, oh my, my God. God. I said, Ryder, where'd you hear that? And she said, at school. I was like, do you know what um, it means? And she goes, I just know she was being rude. I was like, oh, okay. okay so you God. know what it means? <laughs> So wow. I think that's uh, Ryder would say that Linda's. Yeah, I would uh, say Karen. Linda. I mean, yeah. I guess the food is like there's a certain amount. He said there's it. enough. There's enough. Yeah, there's enough. There's yeah. a lot. He of food. said that's dumb. Yeah, there's enough. <laughs> it's right, dumb. He did say there's a lot, so he's yeah, giving us a like lot. hints to that there's We're a not lot of the soup food. kitchen. Like, so yeah, it's yeah. not because I eat but meat that only can order meat. Because yeah. I for sure am that person. Like I eat meat, but if there's like weird meat options, I'm not going to eat the meat options. Question. Not so if you guys were hosting a party mm-hmm. and you knew that there were going to be vegetarians there yes. and you see what's his name Paul the meat eater <laughs> <laughs> and he's like <laughs> Paul grubbing, the meat up, eater. He's grubbing up on, on the vegetarian dishes how would you guys feel about it if I'm hosting, hosting and I now. know that there's going to be vegetarians, vegetarians coming, and you see this, I'm going to have multiple vegetarian, vegetarian dishes, dishes and options so that everybody can take whatever they want. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. mind. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't mind that. Mm-hmm. Eat, yeah. please. Yeah, I would want him to eat. I would think yeah. it's... I. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I would find it a problem. Would you? No. As when I host and I love hosting, I always do like a big menu that corresponds mm-hmm. to everybody. So there's no like. Great area. area. That's my ham only. <laughs> that was actually not for you. <laughs> this isn't for you. Yeah. Yeah. I had enough ham for that. Separate meat eaters. Yeah. This side of the table is yeah. for the vegetarians. Yeah. This side. No, yeah. Linda's, Linda's out of pocket for that one. She is. Yeah. 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 Eat up, Phil. Was that his name? I think. Oh. Or Paul? Phil, yeah. Phil. 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 Sorry. No. You said Paul? Paul the meat eater. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> All right, next one. Al babysits his one-year-old daughter, granddaughter, Tina. I was going to say, how do you babysit your daughter? Sorry. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Sorry. Al babysits his one-year-old granddaughter, Tina, and decides to take her to see Santa at the mall for the first time. Tina's mom, Linda, is upset. Here's Linda again. And says that she should have been the one to take her. Al says it's no big deal. Who's the asshole? Mm. I wish Al would have had a conversation with Linda before he Mm -hmm. took her. Because parents do have little hangups about like the first time, first things, that first they things do. they want to yeah. do with their kids. But that's sometimes out of your, I don't know, it's out I mean, of your control. And yeah. it's like he took Just initiative take the as next, a grandparent. Take the next you day, know? the one year old's not gonna remember. No. <laughs> Wait, I forgot the kid is one. one. Who cares? Go take Linda. Can go Linda, take Linda. Linda's the still next day. Next week. 
Doesn't even have to be Christmas. How you about next it? year, okay? When she's <laughs> yeah. two, you, you do it for the first time as a two-year-old. Like, and it's and grandpa, grandpa. Like you know, grandpa, yeah. Yeah. Oh, grandpa, grandpa has his, his moment. Yeah, that he took the initiative to do. Yeah. This might that be grandpa's a, last Christmas. I yeah. wouldn't want to make grandpa feel bad for wanting Being to proactive. do something yeah. while the child was yes. in his care. So again, exactly. thank you, grandpa. Take it yes. up the arse. Like yeah, that. Linda. We still don't like you. Linda, she's saying come Linda again. What? Somebody's gonna be listening. This, their name's gonna be Linda. Linda. They're gonna be like, I can't believe how rude they talked about me. <laughs> rude. <laughs> we don't like you, but keep listening. <laughs> I don't like you, Linda. You're a Karen. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. 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 <laughs> to the Karens and the Lindas in the world, what do we have next? Okay, you guys will like the names on this one. Oh, oh wow. yes. Another Linda. And right. Karen. And Lola Paul. and Tiny. Oh. Broke up, but remained close friends. Okay. Lola posts a throwback photo of her and Tiny's Disneyland trip. Not a romantic pic, but they were dating at the time. His new girlfriend, Shay, asks her to take it down. Lola says no. Who's the asshole? Shay. Wait, run it back. I got so stuck on the names. Okay, Lola and Tiny broke up, but they remained close friends. Lola posts a throwback photo of her and Tiny's Disneyland trip. Not a romantic pic, but they were dating at the time. His new girlfriend, Shay, asked her to take it down. Lola says no. Who's the asshole? Wait, what? Okay. I Lola might be a little petty. Just for, for posting, for it. posting, for posting it. a picture, yeah. But I also feel like Tiny is an asshole, because why is your girlfriend reaching out to your ex-girlfriend like you it. could have been like hey lola like i understand this is us to dating we're it was we're cool but like this makes me feel uncomfortable you know like you i would want tiny to protect his new situation a little bit it's better. that part better. for you for me it's shay yeah. like shay shouldn't be contact shay no speak being with your contacted man. yeah yeah Talk so it's like I, if it. i was shay i would have said something to my man and if he's not taking any action you're an asshole because now i gotta say friends. something yeah Hmm. I, I think you can be friends. You yeah. can still be friends. But I mean, like, <laughs> I think she should have went to her man. And her man should have handled and it. And he should have handled it. If yeah. he didn't handle it, then that tells you enough. So Tiny's the asshole. The Is man. Tiny the man? Tiny's the man. That's right. That's right. That's why I'm not speaking because of the names. Fuck Tiny. Yeah. Me Tiny. too. There was a lot happening in that example. <laughs> Tiny, Tiny was a little and Lola. Lola. That's why I'm like, yeah. I'm still trying to get who's the fucking Tiny. Actually, and but it's also Lola. like, Lola, so why are you posting this picture? Maybe Lola They're liked friends. the picture. It's not a romantic picture. They dated. They well, were friends. That's not the only picture that girl has at Disneyland. Right. So she could. Well, maybe just that's the one that she liked the best of herself. Mm-hmm. And Shay just happened to be in it. <laughs> no, Shay. No, Shay is the new girlfriend. Fuck Lola new girlfriend. happened to be Lola in it. Tiny, tiny, tiny. See, I don't like this one. <laughs> but it's also like Shay. Why are you looking at Lola's stuff like that to mm-hmm. even know that this exists? That the picture was posted. So that makes me feel like Tiny's an asshole because it's like, why she got your, sh- why she got all this stuff? Mm-hmm. Tiny's being reckless. Me, Lola's being petty. Shay's boyfriend. just okay, trying to. I think to you guys might be air. getting the names mixed up. Oh. That part. Oh. See, or Lola, whoever the boyfriend is, is the asshole. Lola's the ex. Shay's yes. the new girlfriend. Yeah, Tiny's right. the guy. Yeah. 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 yeah, we got it. We got it. Okay, well, wait. So why is so Tiny, Tiny the asshole? Because he should be handling that, not Shay. But he might be totally unaware of any of this. He, he, uh. Who approached who? Shay approached Lola. Yep. To take it down. Yeah. I imagine Shay mentioned this to her boyfriend before. Well, that's, <laughs> that's, the, that's the part that I'm like. <laughs> It's tiny. <laughs> but it's also Lola. Why are you posting this? Like, you're out of pocket hey, for this. Why are you messaging me? Like, why are you looking at yeah. my page? Yeah. I don't know. Lola's the asshole. I think it's a messy situation. Maybe Lola's Get your hoes together, they're Tiny. They're all messy. They're all they're messy. Because, Lola, yeah. yeah, why are you posting it? You're being extra. And Shay, why are you being extra reaching out? But maybe and Tiny, Shay, where, where are you? Are you? <laughs> where yes. are you, Tiny? <laughs> I put it on Tiny because it's like, if I'm, maybe you're not making me feel secure in our situation. Why am I even looking at this girl's stuff? And it's also, why do I even feel the need to say something to her? Like, yeah, that, that smells like other drama. drama. That, this is this is the straw that I'll broke put on the camel. Tiny yeah. and Lola. Right. 
Wait, but we don't know if Tiny knows about this at all. He knows. He knows. He knows. Yes. But they was, all know. Was Shay the asshole for not telling no. Tiny to like... Shay told Tiny before she reached the yes. house. <laughs> don't worry. Maybe Shay <laughs> is sneaky and was like, I don't want to make it seem like I was looking at Lola's page so to I'm Tiny. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna handle it between me right. and Lola. No, because so that's Lola's not being an go asshole. Back to Tiny. Tiny. Wait, and be Lola like, go, yo, girl, go is get your girl. Go get your girl. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe Lola's the asshole because she yeah, put up she the picture, the picture in the on purpose. To, to get a reaction, a reaction. Yes. from either Tiny or, or Shay. Shay. She's, Even if it's not a romantic picture. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Why are we doing that? You would think she still knew that she was going to get a reaction. Yeah, she was going to get something. And their friends. We don't know if they're friends. Yeah, it says that they're, they're friends. friends. Lola they're friends. and who's friends? Lola, Lola and, and Tiny, Tiny are friends. They're exes. They're friends. They're oh, yeah. friends. Yeah, so that's a reaction. You want a reaction you out want, of me. I know messy. you want a reaction that's out Lola, of me. I don't know. You want a reaction out of the girlfriend. I think they all need to sit down and have a conversation. <laughs> right? yeah. Tiny needs to get his. They might just need to be in a throuple at this right. point. Possibly. Tiny needs to get his shit together. Mm. Damn. Get your girls. <laughs> Not get your girls. Yeah. Tiny. <laughs> Why is the name Tiny? Yeah, that name was... That name alone should tell you. That name alone <laughs> mess with me. I think I like Linda better. <laughs> okay, this is a good one. Blair makes her friend Jen the maid of honor for her wedding. Aww. However, Jen has a large tattoo on her arm that, Bla- that Blair finds distasteful. Okay. She asks Jen to cover it up during the wedding and wear a dress with sleeves. Jen says no. Who's the asshole? Jen, 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 just listen. It's the we- it's not your it's wedding. It's not your wedding. Yeah. Just Cover do up it. the shit and talk about it after. Bro, right. I had to shave my whole head at Cheyenne's request for her wedding. Did you really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I had to fucking cut my hair and cut my kids' hair. I was pissed. I was livid, but at, at the same time, it was her wedding. Like <laughs> it had <laughs> bridezillas exist. I was just not a bridezilla though. You can ask anybody except her (laughs) (laughs) that I was actually not. My mom literally was talking about it the other day to somebody, and she was like, Cheyenne was not a bridezilla. No, Cheyenne was actually not a bridezilla. I think I I had, like, one brat moment, and Mm. that was between my dad and I. I don't think Because I wanted him to put a card down for the venue, but I was not engaged. Yeah. And he was like, girl, backwards. you want me to put a card down for a venue that you're not and you're not even engaged. And I, I was like, yeah, I yes. do. This is what Get I want. That. So mm. I think that was my one, one brat moment. Brat moment. Mm. Cheyenne herself was not a bridezilla, but there were so moving, so many moving parts because there was like filming oh, and all wedding. this that's other stuff. That's a wedding. That's yeah. a wedding. No, no, no. MTV filmed the yeah, wedding. Yeah, I know, but that's, that, comes, that comes with the territory. No. That no, it was not. There were normal things. There were things that were normalized there that don't happen in other people's weddings. Having to get every guest to sign a release form and mm. do COVID tests ahead of time, it was a lot. Mm. I thought it was amazing. It was, <laughs> it was the best day. wedding I went to. I, I, I just know weddings. It was a beautiful wedding. Yeah, I so, mean, yeah, so the wedding is stressful with or without her. all the extras. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I thought Jen, it was great. Jen's being a bitch. Wear the dress. Yeah. yeah. Be, your, be happy that you're the bride, that you're the, bride right. the maid of honor. Who like, cares? who cares? Okay, so one of my friends, she does wedding planning, and she put on her Instagram. Uh, maybe it was like two weeks ago that she had a bride Mm -hmm. and her bride was upset because her bridesmaid told her that she's pregnant and that by the time of the wedding, she doesn't know what size dress she'll need because of her bump. So the bride basically was like, I don't think you should be in the (gasps) wedding anymore. So she had prompted uh, like on Instagram, like if you're a bride and one of your bridesmaids get pregnant, like how would you react? Mm -hmm. Like, what would you do? And I, and I saw through the answers that people genuinely had different answers. Mm -hmm. Like you had two pregnant, two pregnant. I was just about to say you had two. And they weren't like little pregnant. They were bumping. They were pregnant. They looked beautiful though. You, but I would have never looked at them and said, I don't want you guys in the wedding because Because you're you're pregnant. 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 That is. The bump is going to mess up the angle of the photo. It's going to mess up my photos. I actually, put two and two together that one of the girls was pregnant based off the dress that she chose oh I'm like yeah uh, so yeah. it wasn't like you weren't blind spot blind right but I, I realized that 
It's for some people, people it's a thing. really yeah, it's a thing. Uh, if it's your wedding, huh. if they your genuinely the static they want stuff. certain things a certain way. So would you say that the bride is the asshole in that situation? Yeah. Or would you just say that she wants things done a certain way? The same no. way that she doesn't I, want the friend's tattoos to show. It's like if you're my friend, like I'm gonna have you regardless. Like if I So took can the I time, show my so tattoos? tattoos? I have tattoos, so I'm gonna be the tatted bride. But she I, doesn't I don't want know. the tattoos shown, so right. but the bride is I feel like that is more reasonable. You're not asking someone literally to not be in your be in a wedding. wedding yeah. because she just like, just it wear a different So what dress? if she said that she doesn't want to cover her tattoos? Now she's not in the wedding? Well, if you want to wear something sleeveless, then I would need you to find, you know, they've got so makeup. much makeup. Yeah, There's makeup. so many I tell options my makeup now. Artist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was thinking before he said, he said long sleeve. Yeah. I was I like, oh, makeup. makeup. Mm. Tattoo makeup. I mean, maid of honor is a job. People it, are it in is career a, and they're covering Is she a job. maid of honor? Yeah, she was a maid yeah, of honor. Maid of honor. Oh, well, then yeah. I, I want to say that is the least she of your would worries. Just, she, she, she would just, you have, she gave you two options. Yeah. Just cover it It's not your wedding. And then when it is your wedding, you can have some crazy ass request for homegirl if she's in your wedding. I want you to get tatted. Get tatted. <laughs> get a blip blast. You need to get blasted in order to wear the dress that I want you to wear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Travis. Travis okay. like that was a lot. Francine and Brian are having a baby girl. Oh. Francine wants to name their daughter Karen after her late grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> Brian thinks that people might make fun of that name they because will. of the meme and says no. Yes. Francine is offended. Who's the asshole? Valid points. Can I Karen so. be a middle name? I was gonna say the same thing. Move, move that to the middle. I really middle don't name. think that either one is an asshole. So, I think that both of them have a right. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 like, they both and it's have also a right. like, why set your kid up? You can't. If yeah, that I mean, is in some like, environment, like, I don't follow memes. I follow my tradition. There's you know? worse names. There are worse names. Yeah. There's worse names. Like and my name, I can't even put into made fun of. By the time she's old, maybe that it meme goes matter. away. Not anymore. No. Yeah. They both are right. They both have their reasons. Yeah. Did you all agree when you named your child with the no. father? Hell no. It wasn't. It was my first one I did on my own. Yeah. You I agreed mean, with... I agreed with Zach for Ace. I kind of picked Ace, and then he... So Zach's middle name is his dad's first name mm. so he wanted to carry that onto his son and I really didn't care like as long as I got the first name he could have named mm. Ace Ooga Booga like I would know <laughs> I would have named would be Ace Ooga Booga Davis like I would not It'd care and we'd all be like come here little Ooga right, Booga like, baby all I cared was about that that first name and what I wanted him to be called so I actually picked we picked agreed on three names and then we decided at the birth when we saw mm. Philip and oh. Adrian's face and what were the three oh, names nice. For Philippa, it was Philippa Victoire, which means Victoria, uh -huh. and Zoe, Zoe. And so for funny. Hadrian, Roman loved Hadrian. No, we both loved Hadrian. I loved August, August, uh -huh. August, August, and Elias, which is Elias. And Elias. I didn't like oh. Elias. Elias. Oh. And when I and I won, I was so happy because he was like, "Fine, she we can I do won. August." Oh, she said, I, I, won. Won. I, won. I won the victory. And I saw his face. I was like. He's not in August. You, yeah. Uh, he's not in August. It's not. So we chose Hadrian. I like and that. And your kids have like five names. Yeah, oh they do. It's like names. custom. I mean, the Spanish have a lot of names too. For Wait, what do you mean they have five names. names? Like they have five names. What's the names? Oh, gosh. Do you know? Yeah, of course I know. What <laughs> do you know? <laughs> well, you look like you had to pick that asshole now. She was like, no, are you really waiting to make me I was wondering if I should put it out there, but it's Philippa. Oh, uh, you don't have to do the last yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Philippa, Marilyn, Jean, Simone, and then the last name. Philippa, Marilyn, Jean, Simone, and last name. That is a lot of names. Yeah. Does, she have to, like, does she have no, to write all those no, down? No, no, no. So Marilyn would be my grandmother who mm -hmm. passed. Simone is Roman's grandmother. Simone, um, Jean and Simone are Roman's two grandmothers. Oh, okay. oh nice. Mm -hmm. And then Hadrian? It's the same formula. <laughs> the But grandpas? Grandpas. Oh, yeah. cool. So that's tradition? Uh, and for France, yeah, that you give. You don't have to do so many, but... You guys why say. not yeah yeah and you know the spanish that is like interesting like they'll have a good amount of names and the last names usually always hyphenated so on are all those names on her passport yep 
So when you have to put in first name and middle name. I don't put, middle name's always optional. So you just don't put shit? No, I just put Phil- Philippa and her Imagine that, that ticket. True. It is. <laughs> I'll be a TSA like, <laughs> so many. <laughs> just go. Yeah, yeah just, just go. go. <laughs> just go, you got it. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, but I won, but I was like, he's not, he's not an August. He's a Hadrian. Oh, he's not an August. Yeah. August. Me and Robert didn't agree on name because he wanted Parker to be Robert, and I said no, named after Imagine him. Imagine if you named him Robert. Yeah. I wouldn't. I It would be horrible. Mm. But, so when I had Parker, he dropped it. Once he saw Parker, once he saw everything I went through, he was like, I win. You won. Yeah. I won. <laughs> yeah. He said, you can name him whatever you want to name him. I just, he's like, it's your, he's, you know, so I gave Parker Robert's middle name. So it's Robert's name is Robert Parker. Mm-hmm. And so I gave Parker, I named him Parker. And he has, Parker has my dad's first name. So it's I like Parker, Parker Leonardo. Oh, yeah. that's nice. I like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he finally, Robert finally got his Robert. He got, oh, he got he's his He's got a Robert Jr. now. His last kid is. From his wife? Wife, his wife, yeah. Oh, he beautiful. Finally, <laughs> That was so genuine. I was I swear I wasn't trying to be an asshole. So he he always puts it in my face. He's like, I finally got my Robert. I'm like, good, good for, for you. you. Because that, I kept it's not telling over him. Here. Yeah. I kept telling him, like, I am not naming my kid raw after you unless we're married. Like, no. Yeah. Yeah. And even then, I don't know if I want. Yeah, I don't want a Zach Jr. I didn't want another Rob. No. I'm good. I don't like. I don't think I'm into like juniors. I'm not into it either. But I did give him his dad's middle name. Yeah, the middle name I can do. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Boz, I named Boz, and Boz had my last name, so I'm pretty sure I was looked at as the asshole. Mm. So when it came to naming Zaire, he said Zaire, which was fine with me because Zaire was one of the names I had for Boz. So I was like, cool. I went double time. But Mezier also wanted a junior. And it was very confusing to me because I was like, don't you want a junior like of a child that you're going to actually be with at all times? And at this time, like we weren't together at all. Hmm. And like I had done my pregnancies pretty much on my my first pregnancy did on my own. My second pregnancy, it was like started off together and then maybe like two months in (laughs) was like cut off. Mm. And he still wanted a junior, and I was like, "That was a that was a big fight." Mm. I think it's just a guy thing. It's just such a guy thing. Yeah. but you know, I don't know. Okay, this is an interesting one. Mm. It's Pam's birthday. Her husband James surprises her by cleaning the whole house while she's at work. Mm. He says it's her birthday gift. Pam mm. is kind of disappointed in the gift, and James is surprised. Who's the asshole? Wait, say it again, Lucky James. James. <laughs> What the fuck? Wait, wait. Are they married? Yes. Yeah, they're married. How dare you clean the house? Clean Tell the me that's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Yeah, James yeah, is you're out of pocket. James, James that's a pick wild. another birthday. Wild. Oh my gosh, that's that's not. Don't I don't. Be that's, part of that. That's like a hard no. I feel like no. James was really proud too. Like yeah. <laughs> I cleaned the house. I girl. used Fabuloso. <laughs> <laughs> you smell I actually, that? Right. I did it. I'd be like, no. I even no. used product. Come again. No, that's no. not it. And come correct. Like, yeah. Wait, right. no. Travis, what do you think? Um, I. <laughs> I think James, I don't want to call him an asshole. I feel like he... Just missed the ball. He missed it. He missed... Um, What do you mean? (laughs) He missed it. (laughs) Like, not you taking a weekly or every single day chore and turning it into my birthday. birthday. (laughs) And you say that he missed the ball? (laughs) Like, what? Like, cleaning is, like, every day. You know? Like, 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 right. Yeah, no, I literally clean every day. (laughs) We've been cleaning cleaning every day. day. I could not imagine if if someone said happy birthday after. (laughs) What? Okay, Come again. Haley, normally Zach, when, when it's like l- not as many people in the house, Zach's daily thing is cleaning. Could you imagine Cheyenne cleaning up everything and being like, hey, Zach. This is your never. birthday present. Happy birthday. I can a candle. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's all Let's I can imagine in my head like just now. Fresh like fresh linens. Like, like not at all. Unless, hold on, using my imagination, I'm a, I like visioning. No, unless it's no. the start of another night. 
like that's, like another set, birthday set, present. Yeah, like the the scene is set and it's smelling. It's so he like wiped, that was he wiped down, down, down the table to put the gift to put on the, the table. Yes, but then it's like <laughs> no, I think that the the no. wiping of the table was the, he's the gift. gift. He's the gift. Maybe, maybe he is <laughs> the gift. He's like look, <laughs> me now. look at me now. Anywhere on you the want. Clean floor. Anywhere like, you want. No, no. I want to get. I want to clean, babe. Clean. I would have walked out that clean house. Bye. Like, yeah. yeah, no, I'm sorry. And I'm not trying to be an asshole, but yeah, I no, want to I want to touch I my gift. gift. I want to give. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. At least yeah. That's you not can't even missing take the ball, Travis. Every I'm day sorry. That's the like, task and turn it into a gift. Well, maybe he's socially unaware, you know? Maybe he has How long uh, have they no. been married? <laughs> No, no again. <laughs> Not how long have they been married? That's why I was like, are they married? Like, Okay, last one. Jules offers to treat Ruby to lunch. Jules buys a large order of wings to share, and they eat at her house. Ruby takes the leftovers home without telling Jules. Jules thinks this is rude, but Ruby says she thought it was her treat. Who's the asshole? Okay, wait, wait. Who ordered the food? Wait, Jules. Sorry, I Jules was treating Ruby. Ruby took the food home with to her. her house. And Jules is upset that Ruby took the food. That's took leftovers. That's it. Yeah. The yeah, leftovers. you treated me to food. Mm. <laughs> I mean, did she? Food. Did she ask? Like, no, she took it without telling her. How? Like, did you did come you with Tupperware? <laughs> like, did you? Did you, did you have? Did you leave while I was in the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't think she's necessarily an asshole. I feel like people come to my house all the time and take food, so. People, but you offer. No. No. Oh, People will literally <laughs> bring Tupperware. Yeah, because they know I'm cooking and yeah. they like come ready with Tupperware. I hate those moments. I, people will I, bring Tupperware, pack their Tupperware, hide it, and then go make a plate to eat. And it's like, so you horrible. see these 50 to 100 people, not everyone has eaten yet. Like That happened I'm, at my birthday party. I was like, put that plate down. <laughs> For real? Yeah. In April. You're like, excuse me. I was like, what are you doing? Do you see all these people here? We're like, what are you We're doing? We're still eating. Yeah. Granted, it's family, so I can like be like, what, what right. are you doing? You know what I mean? But I don't think that that makes you an asshole in that situation. We, you. Yeah, no. I no. think no. that some people are just not like... Inconsiderate? Don't I don't think they're... Yeah, I don't... I think etiquette, a lack of etiquette. etiquette. I think that that was a lack of etiquette on Ruby's part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lack... Very, all, very well said, Shia. Yeah. Well, it she said it, but uh, we brought it full circle. We brought it together. Hmm. Does the nature of their relationship play into this at all? No. No, I still think no, it's, it's etiquette. etiquette. Yeah. You have to... Yeah. yeah. Especially if she didn't leave me any wings and yeah. you took no, all the leftovers. Because oh, I'm, I'm pissed. You know, I've known Shy. I'm not going to go to Shy's house or Kyle's house and be like, let me finish your food. Let me finish all your food that you bought. Like, no. And it's take, take I just them. think it could have been a conversation. Oh, can yeah, I take some like, home? Yes. I might be hungry a little later. Sure, yeah, go for exactly. it. If we That's already ate, like, who cares? Yeah, education. etiquette. Yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> some little uh, just communication. Yeah, I think. Communication. Yeah. yeah, I think it's communication. No. Mm-hmm. No matter how close you are to but the But damn, person. girl, were you hungry? Right. Right. You need I help. Mean, you need she groceries. got were wings. Like, they. If you invite me to lunch, then I. I thought it was gonna be like I we were she going to the lunch. most expensive thing on the yeah, menu. Yeah, but then <laughs> I come over and it's just wings. Like, yeah, I actually still am a little hungry. I'm probably gonna be a little hungry when I get home. So I'm about to take some wings. Can you just tell them? Can I just have yeah. some wings? Yeah. Your yeah. wings were finger looking good. Yeah. All right. This was fun. That was that really was fun. Game. I loved it. I like this one. I, like I can't games. wait to see what people say. This was a lot of fun. I'm excited to see what you guys say about who is the asshole in these different situations. Um, the next time we film an episode, we will have a official update uh, briefing of how our women's retreat went. Yes. Everybody knows that uh, me personally, I've had a lot of anxiety going into it. I cannot wait to come back and tell you guys all about what it. the hell is going on. I pray that I am so tan. Yes, me too. <laughs> me I too. pray that I'm so tired. I thought situation. we were going to keep praying. I don't no. know why. <laughs> no, my prayers with God have been going all week, but that's the only one I really feel like I can voice out loud. I right. just pray that our whole just be accommodations and everything is amazing. Yes, yes. And it all just works out. Yeah. Everyone's I'm a happy camper. I'm really, really <laughs> excited to see what happens. So I cannot wait until the next episode so that we can come and tell you guys how everything went because people are already asking when are we going to announce the next one? And I'm like, let us get through let this one. Get, All right. Uh, Paris. Uh, whoa. 
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. She's whoa. Right. whoa. Um, but thanks again for tuning in to our episode. Oh, we will be back with another episode next Monday. Don't forget to follow Think Loud Crew on Instagram and on YouTube. Continue to please vote for yes, the vote, podcast vote, vote. People Choice Awards. Remember, we are in three categories. Best Female, Best Black Hosted, and Best people's for People's Choice Award. So please vote for all of us for all three categories. Voting ends at the end of this month. Please, please vote for us. Um, and don't forget to follow me at Shy Not Shy. Haley, where can they find you? And I'm public now. So I went oh! public. I'm public. So it's <laughs> underscore Haley J underscore. Wow. I love that. I love this. I'm wow. public now. Public. I love it. You can follow I'm me. I'm outside. <laughs> that was great. You can follow me at R. Kyle Lynn. And you can follow me at Hair by Shannon C. And as always, don't, don't forget, forget to tell your crew about, about our, our crew. crew.